Hello and welcome to another Reaper tutorial. Today I'm going to show you, hopefully in under a minute, how to set up sidechaining in Reaper. The basic premise of sidechaining is you have one track, that's the one marked in blue, that will be affected by the sidechain, and another track that is the source for the sidechain. So the track that you want to be affected by the sidechain, you're going to put an effect on there. I'm using Recomp. And the source or the trigger, you are just going to drag from the routing area in your mixer into the plugin window, and it'll automatically route things properly to channels three and four on that track. Within Recomp, you can change the detector input to auxiliary input, tweak your settings so it'll actually do something, and you have side chaining set up. So now let's listen back to what that sounds like. And without. And one more time with. So that is very quickly how to set up side chaining in Reaper, and you can do this with any plugin that has four inputs, so it doesn't just have to be compression. That's the most standard one that I see being used, though. So that's it for this video. I hope it helped you reap the benefits of Reaper.